It was an executive decision. I wanted to rock uh, the colors of the Borderlands. They were like, no, Jack, you can't do that. You'll disappear into the backdrop. And I said, I don't care. I love them colors. I'm very excited. You know, it's got a huge audience, the video game. Uh, and as we know, video games have become just as big, if not bigger, than movies. So it's cool when the two worlds collide. You know, I did play the game. Uh, I, I'm a real gamer, and I love me some Borderlands. And so I was already familiar with that world and that character, and I just sort of poured myself in there. You know, it's always there's a little experimentation at the beginning when you're first finding the voice and figuring it out. And uh, me and Eli had fun uh, creating the character together. Well, this is a big movie. Got big action pieces, big set pieces, big explosions. And uh, you want to see it on a big screen with the good sound. Hopefully with Dolby Atmos. It's the best of all the Dolbys. Did you know that? Oh, uh, it's not regular Dolby. It's not your grandma's Dolby. Um, but yeah, IMAX. I think they, they put some special doohickeys on the IMAX version. That's how I roll. Let's finally be at this moment and to give the fans, I think, what they've desperately been waiting for. More importantly, just to get to show them that um, it's a lot more above what I think the expectations could be. So I can't wait for them to see what the cast has done. That felt like Jamie. Was it Jamie? <laughs> Let's say, as soon as I felt it, I can feel it. I know Jamie. I can feel it. You look beautiful. Hi. Amazing. Listen, you know, this was one of those things where I said I wanted to come in, be prepared. More importantly, uh, be poised for whatever the opportunity was going to present. And um, the stunts was real, right? Like, we wanted Roland to not only be the action, provide the action, uh, but be responsible for the give and the take between myself and our band of misfits. So uh, to get that responsibility at this point in my career and to be able to say I have an action film under my belt where I am the action, it's a big bonus, and I just didn't want to come in and I didn't want to half-ass it. I want to take it serious. You are getting exactly what you would expect for a movie of this size and of this magnitude. I'll credit Lionsgate for really taking a swing at it, making sure that the movie had the bells and the whistles within cast, within stunts, within directors, DPs, location, etc. Like, the movie's big, it plays big, and uh, I think the fans are going to respond to it. They already had history, lore, canon, years and years of people loving them. So it was our job to sort of step in and go, we're gonna borrow them for a minute and, and turn them into humans. But we also had great respect for the fact that these are beloved characters yeah. and we are simply in service base. to the story and to the fan base. I mean, you know, it was you, you forget that it was over COVID and the desire to kind of be with people and the privilege of being able to be on set was fantastic and having worked with Jack before, of course, but when I heard Jamie was on board, it was like, yeah. Next level. You know what? Weirdly enough, I think if we had been shooting in Budapest without COVID and we were all free to travel on the weekends, I think it wouldn't have been the same thing. Yeah, the no, fact true, that we true. were, and we were only allowed to see each other because we were testing every day. And so it allowed us to get intimate in a way that I'm not sure we would have. First of all, I'm very excited to be here in LA because this is my first premiere in LA. Um, I was supposed to have the Shang-Chi premiere here. We had some visa issues, some COVID issues back in the days. And now I finally have my first premiere here. So I'm very excited, very excited for the fans to finally see the movie, which has been in the making for so long. Put a lot of work into this. So finally we get to see us and I'm very excited. Yeah. Me personally, I played the games as well. Krieg was my favorite character. So I know how much those games mean to the fans, right? And fans can get very critical. Um, but I think we nailed it in terms of the look, in terms of the atmosphere that we created. And I just can recommend to everyone who's a fan of Borderlands, try to give it a shot and just enjoy this crazy ride. You won't regret it. I think that the tone of the, the, tone of the game um, has been beautifully uh, translated into cinema. And I think that also it needs to be expanded because that's why we're making a movie. So it's, a, it's an expansion of the world that the, that, the game, that the game built. So there's a lot of world building in this movie. We all became very close. We all liked each other very much. We also went through this shoot during the second half of COVID. So we had to hang out with each other and 
and it really, it, it really, it really, it, 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 it really created a very strong bond. And we're all in each other's lives up until today. So it was great because it's fun, because it's um, it's wild, is uh, whimsical, is is outrageous, you know, and it's and it's action packed. So I think that is the perfect summer movie. So incredible! I, you know, it's the greatest cast uh, I've certainly ever worked with. One of the greatest cast ever assembled. Period, and everyone's doing something you've never seen them do before. Kate Blanchett being a badass, like Clint Eastwood or Kurt Russell in Escape from New York, and Kevin Hart as an action star, being funny but also, you know, totally kicking ass. Jamie Lee Curtis as this lunatic scientist. Ariana Greenblatt, so sweet and Barbie. We see her, you know, blowing everything up in this movie, and then of course Jack Black being Jack Black as a as a sassy. Robots. So, well, I want to be true to the spirit of the game. You know, my job as the director is to make the best movie possible, and there are certain things in the game that you just, you can try to replicate, but you're going to go, it's better in the game. But if we can do something that they go, oh, wow, they didn't do that in the game. That's so exciting. That's what you want. So there's certain things like the guns, the cars, the clothing, the characters, very true to the game. But then story-wise, we're just going, we're going crazy with it. Moxie, yeah, I mean, she's a trip. <laughs> you know, if you need a drink or you need a crew or you need guns or you need a place to hide, you know, Moxie kind of pops up and she helps out. So uh, I was very happy to, to, you know, kind of help out in this way and pop up. You know, I really, it's like, I, I, it's so fun doing this, but I love this whole cast. So it was really nice to kind of support them. Well, it was so great, you know, usually you're, you're lucky if you get one powerful female in a movie and all of a sudden you had me and Kate and Jamie Lee and Ariana and it's like, it was just great to have all these women together and Janina, you know, all in the same place. So we had a blast. I mean, you know, it's really great. But even seeing it on a, you know, kind of a decent sized screen, you feel like you're in a video game. It's really crazy. So I think it's a fun ride, especially the people who really like playing video games. I think, you know, they'll be super into it because they'll know all the players and stuff. But I just think even if you've never watched the movie or played the game, it just, it's its own little weird world, you know, and it's just, it's fun. We have so many fans here today. As a gamer myself, this is very exciting for me. I played this game well before it was ever going to be a movie. So this is this is like full circle in a lot of ways. These people are not snobs. They came to have fun. We had the best time making it. And hopefully you'll feel it when you watch it. They're going to be surprised. And um, what I'm hoping for is that they can't even count how many things we got right. I think that fans of the game are going to want to watch it fully realized as a live action and um, I don't know it's like you know I have favorite games like Stardew Valley and if Stardew Valley was a movie I would be so excited to watch it. You know, the best cast I think out this summer don't you think? It's a like high level and we've never seen Kate do what she's doing in the movie so it's gonna be fun. It made me cognizant of the fans and also of the sort of the established history of the game and an actor, a wonderful actor named Bruce DeBose plays Marcus in the video games and I was quite mindful both of his legacy and of his work and so honestly he was, his work was the North Star for me. Uh, but like when you're making a video game, you know when you're making a video game you sort of, the way you talk about the game is what is the player going to do? Like it's always sort of front of mind and I think that we had that for the audience of, of Borderlands. The guns are all accurate, the, the costumes are accurate, thanks to Daniel Orlandi, and the, the vehicles are all accurate. So I expect there will be no shortage of opinions, but I think that they're gonna at least be informed by the fact that we really cared about the, the fans of video games. We've loaded it up with Easter eggs. Eli had so much fun with me. We had so much fun working together to make sure that there's tons of little bits all over the movie for our fans of Borderlands. And I cannot wait to feel their reactions. They know that we've made something original, something fresh that is respects the characters and the themes and the vibe of Borderlands, but is a story they've never seen before. So we're gonna surprise and delight them too. We're making video games over here. We've got Academy Award winning actors like 
Kate Blanchett and Jamie Lee Curtis in our movie. One of the biggest actors in the world, Kevin Hart, is in our Borderlands movie. This is incredible. Jack Black just crushed it as one of my favorite characters, Claptrap. And the whole cast is just, I'm, I can't believe it. It was such a joy to be part of that process to cast this movie. And the fact that this incredible talent came together to help us bring the characters that my team and I have only experienced virtually and digitally, help bring them to life. It's just a dream come true. You know, Borderlands is about that weird space between things that don't belong, between science fiction and Western, between drama and comedy, and it's between video game and movie. And if you're going to see a movie with this kind of spectacle, you want to see it on a big screen, you want to see it uh, IMAX, you want to have you want to have the best audio imaginable, you want all of that in your eyeballs. It's an amazing feeling, you know. It's been it's been a long, actually very fun road. Got to make a lot of lifelong friends on this movie and I've always loved Borderlands so I'm just excited that I can share it with everybody else. Oh it can't get any better than this and then every time it was amazing you know Kate, Kevin, Jamie, Janina, Ariana, Jack just over and over the, the, the talent that wanted to go on this crazy quest it was uh, too good to be true. Like one of the reasons we were excited to make a movie out of it is we loved what the game was, so it was never even a question. Like we only really wanted to, everything we loved about the game we wanted on screen from the beginning, you know, because it's in the game and just because the game is great. I don't think I have words to describe how excited I am for this. Um, I've been waiting for this moment for a very long time and I'm like beyond excited to like share this with the Borderlands community and also everybody else to like join the Borderlands family. To be honest, like when we were trying to figure out the cast, it was it started with Kate, of course. Kate was like the key piece to like just like establish like cool. And then everybody kind of fell in place around her in a way that like we weren't expecting to be honest like it all just came together so beautifully and in the video game world i think like it is borderlands is known for its female representation and letting them be like whatever like just all the inclusivity of the types of women out there um so having that represented in the cast was really important to us i don't, would love everybody to be able to, like, be able to experience it in theater so there's no distractions and you can just be like part of this crazy group and vibe on that energy um, um, that's that's why I want everybody to see it in theaters.